everyone and welcome back to day 59 of my 90 day challenge. Sorry I was MIA yesterday but oh my goodness whatever that thing was in my chest it knocked me out. I was a hot mess and then Jesse came by with the boys for a visit and I was in bed and I told him I felt bad because I couldn't do my video and in all these 58 days I didn't want to miss a video so you know him he's so smart I'll do it mom why don't you just get up and you videotape it and you can be up for the time that um, we're taping so we went outside on my balcony and you guys saw the video so um, yeah that was really really sweet of him So today my challenges are, again, pacing because I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Um, those um, antibiotics have certainly kicked in. And one of my biggest challenges was yesterday and what also um, prevented me from doing a video. I hate being a whiny whinerson. And I noticed that the last few videos I've just been talking about how I don't feel well and, and I thought... You guys must be so sick of me whining about it. And yesterday, if I had come on and done my video, I mean, it was a little bit of a pity party. And I just didn't want to do that. I, I try to be positive as much as I can. And I try to not let my health be the priority of these videos. But sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. It is, it's like that mind, body, spirit thing. And it's my body. And it's whatever it's doing it's my body and I have to learn to go with the flow buckle up go on for the ride enjoy the ride sometimes the ride isn't that much fun but you come out the other end and you're okay is that I'm up dressed makeup on colored my hair did a facial so yeah I'm feeling better kind of Richard wants to go to an art store today so I'm just gonna see if I feel like going out or not I might go you know just to pick up some stuff I can't resist going to an art store it's the next best thing to a scrapbook store if you know what I mean like going to Michaels and so I might go there um, we shall see my tool for today my word for today is repair because no matter what condition you were yesterday, that was yesterday. Let's repair the damage. So I got up in the mor this morning and looked at myself and I'm like, yeah, yikes. So I colored my hair and I'm going to put a link in the down bar. I think Linda Lapp was asking me, she has dark hair too, about coloring your hair at home. It is so much more economical. And I find the gray, when you use home colors, is much more, um, what's the word, not permanent, but it takes better with the home colors. So maybe it's a little bit more concentrated, I'm not sure. But I've had my hair colored at a salon several times and it just washes out. And then I come home and do it myself and it lasts. So um, I have a video that I did a while ago. So Linda, for you, I will put that link in the down bar and you can have a look as to how I do mine. Um, so I did that and then I put a facial on and then I heard the doorbell and I'm like, who's at the door when I have this face? I'm going to insert a link here as to what I look like when I went down to the door. So this is how I look with my facial on. It's getting kind of tight. Blah, blah, blah. And my hair color, polished dull silver. I can't even smile. This for me is a cure-all. It just works like amazing. It's Borghese Fango Active Mud. And I don't know if it removes toxins from you. I don't know, but you always feel better after you use it. So I have it in this tube and I also have it in a big, big jar in the shelf here. Whenever I see it, I buy it. I know it's available at Costco. I've been using it now for over, let's see, over 40 years and I use it at least for sure once a month. So yeah, I was so glad that nobody was at the door and they had left a parcel at the door for me. And what was kind of fun, it, it, because it speaks to repair, I order a lot of my makeup and brushes and stuff online. And BH Cosmetics, if you ever want to have the best makeup in town for cheap, 
bhcosmetics.com. So they had a kabuki brush, a little tiny kabuki brush, and a package of uh, new brushes. So I thought, hooray, hooray. I didn't use the new brushes because they came in this leather kit, and I'm going to use them when I travel. So, um, But I used my little kabuki brush, and I love it. So that was kind of fun because I was like, look at me repairing, and I got a new paintbrush to do it with, you know? So, yeah, and I just want to say one thing about makeup. Sometimes women my age... We think that, oh, well, we're 60 plus or 50 plus, and we don't need to look after how we look anymore. You know, it's kind of like we're finished the makeup thing. I totally think that you always need to be the best you can be. And if you're a natural girl and just want to go natural without a lot of makeup, you can use lip gloss and mascara, and it makes a huge difference in your appearance. Do your hair, get an easy cut haircut that's easy for you to manage. Um, but you can really improve on how you look. And you're not doing it for others, you're doing it for yourself. And give it a try. You would be amazed how it just boosts your spirit. And when you see, when you look in the mirror and you see yourself looking back at you like, wow, I look younger, I look more vibrant, I look brighter. It helps you feel that way. I had a um, blueberry banana shake and then I had a bar with some cheese and a cup of coffee and a glass of water. Well, I basically talked about that in my repair because it was kind of honoring my body. Somebody had put in the down link, and I can't remember who it was, but I laughed out loud when she said covering your grain. She called it polishing the silver love it so that's what I say now I polish the silver so yeah and it's like it just makes you look better at least I feel like I look better and even if I'm in my house I'll put jewelry on like I got this uh, bracelet for my cousin when she came to our anniversary party and you know rings that match what you're wearing it's it just I don't know when you glimpse down and see it you feel like you're a little bit dressed up even though you're going nowhere but it gives you that same sense of when you do get dressed up to go out. So it's all mind over matter. So I hope you guys are all doing something to honor yourselves today. Make yourself look pretty. Surprise your husbands or your partners. Or like uh, Jesse said yesterday, spice it up, if you know what I mean. That was so funny. I'm like, really, Jesse? Like, really? He is nuts, okay? nuts he's funny and nutty and goofy so um yeah but i was so appreciative appreciative of him doing that for me that was really really sweet so tomorrow is day 60 so significant because it means there is only one more month guys so i want to kind of set a goal of what i really want to see happen in that one month so i know it's going to be a challenge for me because I can't go gung-ho exercise-wise, and that's what I want to do. So we'll see what the ride brings me. So have a beautiful day, everybody. And again, I'm sorry I wasn't on yesterday. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.